What's up guys, it's Matt Trans Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Planner, and we're going to look at the action which is List My Tasks. Now it does exactly what it sounds like, it goes off and it pulls back a list of your tasks, and it gives you some information about it, but let's take a look at it and take a look at the information that we get back. So I'm in Power Automate here, I'm in a Planner flow, and I have a manual trigger to trigger this flow off. I can click on new step. In the search bar, I can search for planner, find the planner connection, and then scroll down until you get list my tasks. And at this point, there are no other steps required. So no, no other information, no additional information is needed for this step. You'll be able to use the output in subsequent steps. Now, before I create all the other subsequent steps or do anything, I'm going to flick over to planner to show you a couple of tasks that are assigned to me. So I'm in Planner here, and there are two tasks assigned to me. Uh, one horribly spelled, um, which is this one. Uh, this is a task flow with no void assignee to it, um, because I can't type. And this one, test task with nobody assigned uh, to it. I use these in previous videos to show you assigning uh, of tasks, uh, assigning of tasks uh, using an action. You should check out that video. I'll put it here. Um, so that's why I use these two, um, but I've got two tasks that are assigned to me and no other tasks. Uh, well, there is a there is a completed task as well, actually, um, down here, Power Automate Create Task, cool. So, and we'll close that. Now we'll flick back to Power Automate, uh, and we will run this. So we'll click on Test. I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, click Done, and we can see the flow run successfully. So the output of this is this body here. So this uh, JSON object, which lists details of uh, the planner ID, um, the bucket ID, if it's got a bucket, which this one doesn't, the title. So this is the test task with nobody assigned to it. Um, and it has some other, other details in here. We got stuff about the assignments as well. So who assigned it when it was assigned. Then we have another one. This is the other, um, the other task that is assigned to me. Um, again, we have all the same things. We have the assignments, and then this is uh, oops, this is the th third one, the Power Automate task created uh, now. So we can actually see from percent complete that's the completed one. So that's that's this one down here. So not only does it list the completed task, but also lists the um, not completed task as well, the other way around. Um, so yeah, you can do stuff with that information as well, or you may want to filter that out. So if I click on edit and go to new step, um, we can have a look at compose action just so we can uh, see what's going on. So this is the list of details that we get from the list my tasks. We have like um, the assignments, um, so who created it, um, who assigned it, etc. cetera, uh, created on time. We have items, the percent completed, uh, the plan ID, um, things like title as well. So we'll put the title in there. It'll automatically put an assign to each because we know that we may get uh, more than one um, item back from this. So um, it's going to put a, an automatic apply to each around everything. So we'll just test this out and we'll skip through so we can see that it's got everything. It's a bit easier to, a bit easier to read um, as separate composed actions you can flick through. So. Here we go. So we have three. So this is shown one of three uh, titles. So test task with nobody assigned to it. That's one of the tasks we have. Whoops. Um, test task from flow with no void assignee to it. Doesn't tell real spelling, typing, and the power automate task created now. So flicking back to planner, we can see those are the three tasks that are assigned to me inside of this plan. Um, but just to note this, um, these are just the ones inside this plan, which just happens to be the only task I have assigned in this um, in this environment. If you were running this on a production environment, this doesn't actually take into account um, tasks that are in other things. So you would actually be assigned tasks from all of the different um, areas where you had them. So that would that would list all those tasks that were in all those areas where you assigned them. Sorry. So 
this this specifically just lists all the tasks so whether they're completed whether they're in this plan the plan that you want or in other plans this will just list all the tasks um, that you have assigned no matter where they are and um, which plan they are as long as you have access to them as long as the flow has access to Joe and get those tasks it's going to pull those back um, inside this action so um, what do you guys use this for? I use this for listing out my tasks. I can put them into a table. I can filter out um, tasks where it's not uh, where it's not completed or not, or where it's completed or not. Um, and we, I can kind of get a list of, of things and where they're up to date. But as always, I'd like to know what you guys use this for. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, it would be greatly appreciated. It really helps me grow the channel. If you've not already, please hit that subscribe button. Again, this is a great motivator for me and it's a great way to uh, get more visibility of these videos out there the more subscribers I get the more people I can reach so I do appreciate each and every person that subscribes uh, and I will see you next time